Number one, 1985 Ford Bronco. This 1985 Ford Bronco is priced at $750 and located in Amarillo, Texas. The vehicle is rough both inside and out and needs U-joints. Although the engine runs, there is no title and it will need to be picked up by trailer or tow truck. The seller offers delivery for an additional fee depending on the location. Number two, 1980 Jeep CJ7. Listed at $4,000 in Homer, Michigan, this 1980 Jeep CJ7 has a 350 engine that runs well. However, the 350 transmission needs a rebuild. The Jeep has three-quarter ton axles and a full roll cage, making it ideal for off-road play. It comes with a clean title and is ready for someone to continue building. Number three, 1983 Chrysler LeBron Convertible. Priced at $5,000 and located in Mitchell, Indiana, this 1983 Chrysler LeBron Convertible has 35,000 miles on a five-digit odometer. While it runs and drives without any mechanical issues, the exterior and interior need attention. It's a hard-to-find car that could be an exciting project for the right buyer. Number four, 1987 Pontiac. This 1987 Pontiac Fiero is listed for $300 in Metamore, Illinois. It has 91,000 miles and a five-speed manual transmission. The car runs, but has a knock in the engine and will will need a battery. Uh, the seller is moving and must get rid of it quickly. The title is currently misplaced, but the seller plans to file for a lost title if it isn't found. nineteen eighty nine Mercury Grand Marquise GS sedan listed at five thousand dollars in Crandall Texas this nineteen eighty nine Mercury Grand Marquise GS sedan has seventy nine thousand miles and has been driven by one owner it runs well reaching seventy five miles per hour on the highway without issue however it needs minor work including repairs to the top and vacuum hoses the car has a clean blue title and the seller is open to trades for other classic cars or trucks Number six, 1985 Porsche 944, priced at $3,250 in Carmel, Indiana. This 1985 Porsche 944 has 95,000 miles and needs some TLC. The car ran before being parked, but it now requires rewiring, a new catalytic converter, and general cleanup. The body is straight, and the seller believes it's a fully recoverable project. Delivery is available for an additional fee. Number seven, 1980 Z28 Camaro Roller. Listed at $4,500 in Belgrade, Minnesota, this 1980 Z28 Camaro is a roller project car. It comes with some new steel, new leaf springs, and a Dakota digital gauge package. The original 350 engine was disassembled, but is included. This project car also features original Camaro wheels and needs to find a new home as the seller needs more space.
Number 8. 1985 GMC 3500 Regular Cab Long Bed This 1985 GMC 3500 is priced at $5,000 and located in Gurney, Illinois. The truck features one-ton axles, a 456 gear ratio, and a Lincoln locker on both the front and rear axles. It is equipped with a 468 big block engine and a turbo 400 divorce 205 transfer case. The truck also has four-wheel disc brakes and custom wheels. Number 9. 1986 Jeep Comanche Regular Cab Long Bed Listed at $4,000 in Cincinnati, Ohio, this 1986 Jeep Comanche has 60,000 original miles. It's running lean due to a potential issue with the O2 sensor, but the replacement part has already been ordered. The truck features new tires and a nearly rust-free body. The interior is in good shape, although it needs a new headliner. The seller is open to offers, but not trades. Number 10, 1985 Chevrolet 1500 Regular Cab Short Bed. This 1985 Chevrolet 1500 is listed for $5,000 in Shawnee, Oklahoma, with 215,000 miles. It's a sharp-looking truck that runs and drives great. It has a V6 engine paired with a 5-speed manual transmission. While the paint could use some touch-ups, the truck is described as reliable and ready to drive anywhere. No trades are accepted and only serious inquiries are requested. Number 11, 1989 Ford Ranger Regular Cab. Priced at $5,000, this 1989 Ford Ranger is located in Hendersonville, Tennessee with 100,000 miles on the odometer. It needs a battery and air in one tire having sat for a year. Otherwise, it runs fine and is known to be dependable. The gas gauge is non-functional, but the seller considers it a minor issue and is open to offers. <laughs> 